The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. The battle over sex and morality. The battle over sex and morality. Um, sit back and then watch this. For us, sexual and reproductive health and rights is one of the cornerstones of our development cooperation policy and we try to use a truly integrated approach that includes the whole gamut of, and now I need to read because it's so much, access to information, commodities, medical prevention and care, sexual and reproductive health and rights, LGBTI rights, sexuality education, comprehensive sexuality education, harm reduction, access to safe abortion. The groundbreaking achievements from 1994 are under attack. Former allies have changed positions, and we are now spending time, as many already have said, and resources trying to protect the agenda we agreed on 25 years ago. And I've had the honor of serving on both Prime Minister Trudeau, but also President Macron's Gender Equality Advisory Council. And what we did was that we, we collated 79 progressive laws and illegal frameworks within the the whole lives of girls and women and gender equality, including the full suite of SRHR, safe abortion, CSE, family planning, and for all, also the most marginalized, the LGBTQI, people with disabilities. This, I think, is a, it's a crucial strategy for UNFP at the global level, at the regional level, most importantly at the country level, to move the ICPD agenda. And this is why we have jointly been advocating for comprehensive sexuality education for young people. Ladies and gentlemen, an important step forward is to, to digitalize comprehensive sexual uh, education. Something that UNFPA is looking into. We gotta be inclusive. It's LGBTQI, it's people with disabilities, it's indigenous, it's everybody. Leave no one behind. Universal health coverage agenda must privilege sexual and reproductive health and rights. But the rights and choices agenda is how we are going to fulfill the unfinished business of the ICPD. I'm going to Nairobi because uh, sexual and reproductive health and rights are under attack. Sweden and our like-minded will not back down. For us, ensuring sexual and reproductive services and rights for everyone is the right thing to do. Support for sexual and reproductive health and rights, despite what we say here, despite our worries, it's broad, it's growing and it's cross-regional. We can push back against the pushback. We're going to come uh, with our people and with our money and we'll bring our strategies and our history of 35 years of fighting for women's sexual reproductive justice. I saw why it's so important that countries like Denmark continue to fight for women and girls right to decide over their own body, their own life. We have to speed up the promise of Cairo reality before 2030. Have people who are in power, leaders of some countries, who call our agenda on sexual and reproductive health and rights harmful, when in fact I think denial of that agenda is what is seriously harmful. The opposition is strong, but we're stronger. And there is a mobilization that I have personally not seen for many, many years. But we need to be, work harder and we need to work smarter, and we need to keep that advocacy and noise level. Protect our gains and push back the pushback of uh, other colleagues have said and mobilize the political will, the civil society will, the private sector will uh, to deliver on the unfinished business of the ICPD program. You 
1994, there was an agreement. They believe that this decision that they have taken to educate the whole world on comprehensive, or some people call it progressive sexuality education. And they don't want to leave anyone behind. Leave no one behind. They describe it as unfinished business. Maybe this is the first time you are setting eyes on this video. I'll soon recap what they said, and then I'll zoom into what we want to study this morning. What has UNFPA events at the UN got to do with PENSA conference? This discussion was at the UN by the UNFPA. But this is just to bring our minds to the fact that there is a battle over sex and morality. In fact, the real battle is against our Christ and his word. There are many people who have vowed to promote comprehensive or progressive sexual education. Morality is being redefined by human beings. The creation is redefining sex and morality for the creator. Redefining sexuality is an attempt to reprogram the earth. These people define morality as right and wrong. But who determines what is right and who determines what is wrong? That is the problem. When groups like this succeed, what will become of the Bible in the society? We will push back the pushbacks. And they are not referring to any group, brothers and sisters. They are referring to us. The people who stand by the word and hold on to what the creator God has said. They want to push us back because we are pushing back. They will push back the pushbacks. Can I encourage you to be strong? For the church is God's militia on earth. And we need to rise to push back pushbacks. We can't do it in the whole world, but you can do it in your sphere. It is time for battle. If these people are serious about what they are doing, then the church should not go to sleep. We need to arise as a mighty army and combat the darkness. Let me try and then recap some of the things they were saying. They have mapped what they call crucial strategy aimed at global, regional, and most importantly, country level. You see, they have a strategy. It is global. It is regional. And importantly, it's country level. You heard what happened recently in Ghana. Yeah. They have been able to map themselves into the hearts of the nation. They have infiltrated into our ranks. That is a fact. They are determined to protect the gains and to push back the pushbacks and mobilize the political will, the civil society will, the private sector will, to deliver on what they describe as the unfinished business. They are determined to protect whatever gains they have gained. 